start to stay open until 9 p.m. Lawnmowers stall on Main Street. City planners consider building a passing lane. Quarter inch of snow gives kids weak off of school. City prepares for future blizzards. Four cattle found at courthouse. Are these yours? <laughs> well, it sounds like a redneck version of Saturday Night Live's weekend update. This is really just headlines from my hometown newspaper. These are the norm for a place where not much happens because you have to report on anything that does. Even if it states that both banks to be closed on Friday to watch wrestling tournament. They are a tapestry of typos and often blur their gossip in news sections. I mean, we all need to know that Dale on Ivanhoe hasn't mowed his lawn in 40 years because, damn it, the good Lord didn't give us grass just to cut it down. But the second a page told us of someone passing, having their house destroyed by a tornado or being struck by a tiptoeing cancer, we immediately called family. Donated time, money, organs. We knew the newspaper existed so that we could keep in touch with our community so that we could communicate. I've been reading big city headlines for four years now, usually consisting of murders, protests, or politicians. Last week, above my own picture, it read, baby drowned in lake. I did not flinch. I did not pick up a telephone. I sipped my cold coffee. I turned the page. It's just a headline. Uh -huh.